Hey guys, the simple student here. So today I was just going to walk through and give an introduction to the testing framework in JavaScript called Mocha. It's probably one of the most popular testing frameworks in JavaScript these days and it's really useful and easy to get set up. We're also going to be using an assertion library called Chai and we're going to be using a search from this library just to test test some things in our code. Um, so we're going to get, get right in there and start. So as usual, we're going to use npm init to initialize our node project. Um, by the way, I just have my terminal open and Visual Studio code. So after we do npm init, we're just going to use all the defaults. Um, as you can see, the entry point for our project is going to be index.js. Uh, yes. So the first thing we're going to do is look at our package.json. We can see we have no dependencies yet, and um, we're going to need to add those. So to do that, we're going to going to say npm install, and we need Mocha and Chai. We're going to do dash dash save dev to save these. Um, so this is just going to install Mocha and Chai and it's putting them in as dev dependencies. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is look at this, this script here that's called test. And at the minute, the default is just printing that, that string. But we're going to change that to just mocha. So when we run npm run test, it's going to use this, and it's going to, going to call mocha. So if we do this now, we can see that there was no test files matching the pattern test. So we need to make a new folder called test. And Mocha is going to look inside this folder to run all our tests. But we're getting a bit ahead of ourselves. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to need to make, make the file that we're going to test. So we're just going to, our entry is index.js, so we're going to use that. Um, so this is where we're going to put our, put our functions to test and inside our test folder I usually like to match the same project structure as the actual project so using that we could make a new file also called index.js and this test file inside the test folder is going to test everything that's in in this folder in this file so I guess the first thing we can do is write a function to be tested. So we're going to say this is in our, not the test file, just the, the ordinary file. We're going to say module.exports equals and we're just going to write a function called uh, add numbers. It's going to take two numbers and we're just going to return a plus b. So we have this fun simple function called add numbers and next thing we're going to do is try to test it from inside here. Um, so the first thing we're going to do, need to do is import the libraries we need. Um, it's going to say const assert equals require uh, chai dot assert. So this is just going to import the assertion library that we need. And we're also going to need to uh, import the file that we're going to be testing. So we're going to say const index equals require and to get this file we're going to need to go back a directory with dot dot forward slash and index.js. Okay. So now that we have the libraries and the files we're going to need, the next thing we're going to do is start using Mocha. So the first thing we're going to use is a function called describe. And this is just going to describe um, what we're testing. So the first argument is just going to be a description. Um, so we could I generally just put the name of the file. Um, and then inside this function, we're going to use another function provided by Mocha called it. And this is just a more a more granular description of what we're testing. 
Um, so we could just say adding to numbers works. Um, Mr. Comma. Uh, okay, so this is fine. So we have a have a have a function here that we're going to be using to test. So I guess to begin with, we could just say assert um, dot equal. Uh, we're just going to say true is equal to true just to make sure that everything's set up correctly. So now if we use npm run test again, we can see, okay, adding two numbers works, but this, this actual assertion isn't really related to, to adding two numbers. So what we're gonna put instead here, um, we're gonna make a variable called result, and we're gonna make it equal to index dot add numbers. We're just going to add four, or sorry, three and four. And we're going to assert equal result and seven, which, if I'm not mistaken, is the result whenever we add add these numbers. So we're just going to save this again. Um, we're going to npm run test, and we can see okay, yeah. So our test is passing, and you can see that this. Here is just um, the string in describe, and this here is the string in it. And it's really useful to give this these sort of like descriptive names because if you have a large project, it's it's good to see where all the tests are and where the failing ones are. It just makes you be able to navigate this really easily. So I guess now we could write another test. So we're gonna do it. Um, uh, adding, we're just going to call this an adding to numbers results in number. So again, we're going to use result. We're going to, instead of assert equal, we're going to use assert type of. And this takes two arguments. So the first one is going to be result. And the second one is going to be what we think it's going to be. So we're just going to say a number. And if we run our tests again, we can see, yes, so we have two tests now, adding two numbers results in number. Um, if we wanted this test to fail, we could do something like, and um, we could change this function to return a string. And if we save that again and run our test, we can see that we're given a description here adding two numbers results in number failed because we expected the string seven to be a number and um, but we want to actually be a number so we're gonna gonna put this back again npm run test and you can see yes everything's working so the next thing i'm going to do is um use a bit of test driven development so in test driven development we're going to write our tests first before we write the actual function and this is just a really good way to, to develop and it's a good a good habit to get into. So we're gonna write our test first. And we're gonna say subtracting two numbers works. And we're gonna use a function called subtract numbers. And we're gonna subtract four from ten. Okay and ten minus four is six so we can see that we're calling this function that we haven't actually wrote yet because the only function that's in index.js is add numbers so with test driven development what you do is you write your failing test first and we can see it's failing and then we just make this test pass so we can see that it's failing because subtract numbers is not a function so all we're going to do is fix that failing test so we're going to write a function called subtract numbers and again it's going to take a and b. I should probably be given these better names, these variables, um, but it'll do for now. So this is going to return a minus b. Okay, 
well, I guess for now, really, with test-driven development, I should just be failing this at one error. Um, so I'm going to comment this out for now and see see what it does. So we can see expected undefined to equal 6, and that's because this function isn't returning anything. So if we put this back in, save and run again, we can see that, yes, subtracting two numbers works. So I know these are very simple examples, but it just gives an overview and an introduction into what can be done with Chai and Mocha um, together. So I definitely recommend looking at um, the Chai website webpage and looking like what sort of things you can actual, actually test because there's some really nice stuff for objects um, and value greater than, less than, stuff like this. Um, so that was just an overview of, of the testing framework Mocha in JavaScript. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.